Welcoming everyone, James here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the guild boss Dagon. And even though this is a low level boss, it has the potential to score incredibly high scores. The highest I've scored on this boss is 53 million. I don't score that high in this video, but what I'm going to do is show you the method that I use to get that score. And this is the build that I'm using. This is my mythic armor. It has 24 hero charm slots and they are all warrior power. It adds up to 595%. I do not recommend this build, but this is the build that I've ended up with through experimentation and just being bored, to be honest. But it works really well for guild bosses. But if you do want my recommendations for the best all round build that will help you in the rift and progression, then I've already done a video for it, which I will link on the screen. I'm using the low level guild boss weapon as ever with the Maverick Gauntlet. And the heroes that I'm using are Ermus and Queen Critter. Ermus is only there for his max star perk. That's all he's there to do. His max stat perk will give you plus 30% chance to crit with other warrior heroes. If you don't have him max stars, it's absolutely fine. You can just use Nijuro instead because his max star perk is exactly the same. I'm just using Hermes because I can. And Queen Critter is there because she is troll type and she has high damage distributed rage. Now Dagon himself is vulnerable to expose. So even with just 50% chance to expose on your weapon, it should be pretty reliable versus this boss. And into the fight itself, for the first two rounds, what I'm wanting to do is finish them in one turn each. So I'm just going to use, I've got the blue rage potions here. I'm using the blue rage potions to just get a rage off and finish these rounds as quickly as possible because you can't punch it until the fourth round so round two exactly the same just going to use a rage potion swing a couple of times just because i can with the low level weapon and then get the rage off and that's two rounds in one turn each done so into round three all i'm gonna do is start swinging the weapon and because the weapon's got focus on it it's going to start landing crits and then it will charge rage for the maverick gauntlet whilst dealing low damage because you can't punch it yet and this is i found this is the most effective way to gain rage while not dealing any damage and you can add expose onto the weapon which is going to increase the damage that you get by 35%. So it all kind of gels together into this guild boss strategy. On round four, you can punch once, but you can only punch once and then just continue swinging the low level weapon to inflict exposed. On round five, again, you can punch twice on round five, but you can only punch twice. It will leave it incredibly low health. But there is enough there for you to inflict expose. My weapon is level 11. It's better off if it's level one because you've got less chance of in accidentally finishing off these bosses, but level 11 works just fine. On rounds six and seven, you can still only punch twice because we're level 70 now, we're punching a lot harder and the bosses feel a lot squishier than they were. This one is on expert, but yeah, you can still only punch twice. So after that, just switch back to swinging the weapon to keep the damage low and to fill up your rage. In this run, uh, I forgot that you should only punch it twice and I tried to punch it a third time. Luckily for me, it didn't crit, so I actually got away with it. But you, 
you're going to see in a second. If that had a crit, it would have been game over and I'd have had to start again. So, yeah. Even on round 7, only punch it twice. Don't push your luck. And if any of your punches don't crit, don't take it for granted because the next one might. And then it's game over. You're going to have to start again. You might just end your guild boss run. And in this run, I got 44 million, which wasn't too bad. Uh, but that's it from me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have been James BO9. Good luck out there.